It's day four. We miss cheese. You miss you miss sugar. I what, do, miss, what do you miss most? Oh, sugar. Sweetness. Something that's not like bland, like pork alone. I miss cheese. I think I miss cheese more than I miss wine. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. But it, it's only day four. Day five on the Whole30. It is mid-afternoon, which is prime snack time. Yes. And we were just discussing, sounds like Aria wants a snack, but we were just discussing that we're doing okay not snacking. Cause one of the things on the Whole30 is you're supposed to have only three meals a day. And because I'm breastfeeding, I am usually having at least one snack as well, or four smaller meals as opposed to three larger ones. Oh, and I remember I would get up and I would feel like I had to snack all the time. I'm always going to the fridge to look at stuff. He I basically is. stare at that aimlessly until I decide on something that I can sneak out from under Jenny's chin, you know. I always know. Hot chip, you always know. I always know. Whole30 check-in, doing okay. Doing okay. Whole30, day six. Today we made chicken with barbecue sauce and most barbecue sauce is full of sugar, so you can't have it. So this one is made of sweet potato and applesauce and a couple other little things in there. And then potatoes and salad with no cheese, which is very sad. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You doing okay on day six? I think she's doing okay. I think it's working for her. Oh yeah. <laughs> day seven, whole 30, what you eating? Uh, this is a fantastic goulash of sausage, spinach, egg, peppers, uh -huh. what else did I miss there? Potato. Potato. Avocado. Avocado with that fantastic red pepper sauce we made the other night. All Whole30 compliant? All Whole30 compliant, looks fantastic. <laughs> Great you, breakfast. How Eat. you feeling day seven? Good, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I have to uh, curb my intentions of looking up waffle recipes, <laughs> but otherwise. Too. Oh, you want some too? What's going on? That. Yeah, you, you want, want that. that. It's, it's day eight. I am so tired. The book says to expect this around day eight. It's not till about day 13 or 14 where you wake up and wanna rule the world because of all this newfound energy that you have from eating all good food and getting all the junk out of your system. Right now the junk is leaving my system and I am tired. Also, I'm wearing an apron because I've been cooking a lot. Three meals a day, every day, for eight days. Right now we're making more gazpacho. We're on day 11 of Whole30, and so far we're sticking to it, even though I really miss wine and chocolate. It's rough. And um, anyone that says that you can't do this on a budget is out of their mind because we are doing it on a very strict budget right now because there is actually a fact. I had the house paid, pay, paid to have the house clean today instead of buying more groceries. We have enough to eat, but just nothing super fancy. So today's non-fancy uh, dinner is going to be Meatballs from Costco, super affordable, with some mushrooms and just put it in some tomato sauce. I'm gonna make a quick marinara with an onion and garlic and just simmer it all together. And no bread, no spaghetti, so sad. But totally budget friendly, we're doing it. And the house is clean. We got pasta for the kids. Yay. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I want it so much, I love it. Sorry, no. What is it, 19 more days? Yes, 19 more days. We can do this. Yes. It's not bad. We're so hungry. <laughs> We're snapping at each other. I put the glasses on the wrong shelf. We're unloading dishes. <laughs> I said, what are we doing? Are you putting the glasses up on the top shelf or the bottom shelf now? Because the mugs go on the top shelf. I don't shelf. care. I hate dishes. <laughs> I hate everything. I just want pizza and beer. I came out of the car and I smelled barbecue and I go, Oh my gosh, what do we have to barbecue? I could grill some steaks, I could grill some, and just have some hamburgers. It's like, no, no. We, we don't have any of that stuff, and we literally have like no money to go buy groceries right now because of a snag in our different payments that were supposed to come. Checks are in the mail. Checks are in the mail. They are. So, but the good news is we cleaned out our freezer and found some sirloin steaks. Yes. So we're gonna That'll defrost those. What are we, day 12? Yeah. Day, day 29? Yeah, all together we're not doing too bad. I mean. We, these hot fits day 31? Upon... It's a day 31? No, it's not day 31 at <laughs> all. Oh. oh, there's baby too. <laughs> Life's an adventure. Oh, baby. It's whole 30. 
day 13 and this dinner was well earned, well deserved. It's been quite a week over here. And so we have sirloin steak, which we found in the freezer that's been in there a couple months. So glad I put that away for a rainy day. Today was that rainy day we needed it. Totally the rainy day we needed it. And we have sweet potatoes with a tiny bit of ghee, which is clarif uh, clarified butter, and then bell pepper and asparagus that were on sale at Vons for like less than $4, like total. So amazing. Yeah, yes, only, let's see, it's day 13. 30 days, 17 days to do. To, 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 to. I can't even speak. That's how much I'm ready to eat this right now. Okay, 17 days to go. We got this. We can do it. We are on day 16, mm -hmm. whole 30. I finally feel the last day or two like I don't want to gnaw my arm off from hunger. Yeah, I, I kind of ebb and flow. Um, it depends if I, I, I just need to make sure I get those three meals in a day like solidly. And yeah. then they overcome. Okay. It's true. You get a little crabby sometimes if you don't get your three meals. I, it's been weird to see me crabby like this. I know. You're so not a crabby person. I know, right? And then all but I think we're over the hump. Oh, oh, she wants her food now. You want your food now? Aria. It's always fun to try to make meal plans when you have a cranky tongue. Checking in. Hole 17. Hole Day. 17. I wish it was hole 17. That would mean we're done. <laughs> let's, let's try it again. Hole 30. Take two. All right, I'll probably put that in anyways. <laughs> Checking in, hole 30. <laughs> hole 30, day 17. Day 17, and I think yes. today is officially gonna be the day, it's the weirdest thing we've eaten yet. What? What's for dinner? Celery, no, uh, yeah, celery root. This. So you, you take, they were, they were huge too. The guy at the checking stand had to look it up. He didn't fact, even know what it one was. One guy's like, what is this? Is this a, oh, is that pineapple? No, wait, what is that? Celery root, we're gonna make some risotto. Just a quick video, because no video is complete when you say you're making something, but then don't show the end result. So this is the mushroom risotto made out of celery root with shrimp. And yeah, I could have like put the shrimp on top and not mixed it in and it would have been prettier. And I could have chopped up the parsley in the fridge and sprinkled it on top and that would have been prettier. But doing this one-handed mostly, Aria's been a little bit of a pain. She just went to bed and dad's been busy over here working for a yes. client. With this one. <laughs> okay, it's dinner time break, Dad. Okay, they'll do it. How's it look? I look oh good. my gosh, it looks really good. <laughs> Hopefully it tastes good too. I don't even remember if we're on day 18 or 19, 20. We're somewhere in there. And thank you so much, honey, for making dinner delightful. Try tip, a couple baby tomatoes, yeah, asparagus, wait. mushrooms. Perfect, perfect, whole 30 dinner. And it was needed today because it's been a little bit of a day. Only what, 10, 11 more days? Yes. We got it. What do you think your whole 30 bowl? It'll do. What does Aria think of her rice? It's messy. Hot. Hot. Good. How are your fries, Aria? How's your protein sound for her dad? Lettucey. Lettucey? But it's good. How was your milk, Trinity? And then there's mom eating a Lara bar. We call this the wedding dress diet since I'm trying to fit into one of those right now. Whole 30, there are certain things that, you know, I crave. One of those cheese, one of those is ranch dressing. And Jenny, you found something online. I don't uh -huh. know what this is, but this unboxing is pretty spectacular. Behold. Found it on Amazon. Oh, ranch, Greek, honey mustard. Let's start with the honey mustard because that excites me a lot. They're salad dressings. I've never seen him so excited oh. about salad dressing. <laughs> Look at this, let's see. <laughs> oh, yes. Honey mustard, okay. vinaigrette, and marinade. The honey mustard might not technically, That's be, not whole technically 30, be whole 30. That's not technically whole 30. But it's like paleo because I think it has honey in it. What about this ranch? The ranch should be whole 30. <laughs> Real salad dressing instead of just oil and vinegar. Are you so oh, excited? Oh, that's fantastic. <sighs> Super excited. Guess what time it is. What's that? It's wine time. Wait, that's not in the Whole30 diet. It is day 31. Oh. And oh my, it's been a day. <laughs> it has been a day. You know, we have gone through these 30 days of all these restrictions and yesterday we were talking about it being our last day and all I could think was, I hate how good I feel. 
and I really contemplated just staying on this diet like completely just for a few more days or maybe seeing what I could reintroduce or holding off on the wine until the weekend at least. And today, both babies almost did us in. And I am so grateful to Jesus that it is day 31 because mama's having a glass of wine after uh -oh. all the crying. Oh. Case in point. Case in point. All right, fancy, fancy wine in a box. All right, we gotta go pick up that baby, but first. It's been a while. It's been a while. You got the baby up? I did. What are your final thoughts on Whole30? And what are you going to eat for your first reintroduction? You know, I, I got some chips and maybe some cheese, but I gotta get a burger. I'm gonna go <laughs> get a burger somewhere. Somewhere I gotta get a burger because I just, I gotta have a burger. I miss it so much. <laughs> I feel surprisingly energetic when I was, before the, the Whole30, I was taking like 15, 20 minute naps a day. And that was awful. I felt so lazy, but my body was just dragging. I think especially from the, uh, the sickness I had last year. But now I'm feeling pretty darn good. I'm, we're going to keep this up, I think. This could be life-changing. We hope so. No. What do you think, Miss Aria? Are you ready to try a Whole30? <laughs> Since she lives off of goldfish crackers, probably not. All right. All right, you say bye. What'd you get? some fries. You got some fries? This, however, is the lounge burger mm -hmm. without cheese, with bacon and avocado. I open it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. The main thing that's different here is bread. I haven't had bread in a month, so this will be very interesting. No cheese? No cheese. Interesting. Mm. Oh, my friend, I missed you. I missed you so much. Enjoy. Mm. Whole 30, final count. I lost between five and six pounds, but mostly non scale victory, feeling way better, not so tired, and I still am waking up multiple times a night to nurse. So the fact that I gave birth three months ago, I have already lost all of my pre pregnancy weight. I'm back down at the very beginning where I started when I got pregnant with Trinity. Um, she's up multiple times a night. I'm feeling really good about life. My body feels good. Everything's working right. You know, I, I think, I think this is a way of life. So how did you do? Whole 30 uh, overall? 12, 13 pounds. And, I hate him. <laughs> and that was great. That was without really just changing diet, just getting rid of the stuff. More changing diet? What? Changing my diet. Right? The whole thing was about changing your diet. No, I mean, it was, but it, I didn't have to like count calories or anything else. Oh, it was yeah. just okay. Okay. different foods there we going go. <laughs> My beer belly, gone. I mean, it's just disappearing. Your, which beer, is great. your beer belly, My beer Mormon? Belly. My Mormon beer belly, which is basically like <laughs> fries and hamburgers. <laughs> whole 30? Whole 30. Let's try it. Accomplished. That's accomplished. Done. And out. Hi Trinity, you're very cute, so, so cute.